to a shoot. Oh, don't forget the coffee. Oh, dropped it. <laughs> Off to a shoot with Joe. Whoo! Canon C100 Mark II coming up. Whew, all right, here we go. Brand new camera. I'm a little late. Back from a little Saturday morning film session for work. Oh my goodness, the Canon C100 Mark II is epic. It is another level up. I could already, I could just see in the imagery, and that was the first time that I was able to really get my hands on it and work with the camera. And uh, I, I realize also that this camera is a couple years old already. So when I'm giving you my initial impressions, I realize like it's been out for a couple years, but it is the next level of cinematography. Um, it's not 4K, I get that. But if you're looking at like 4K cameras that can shoot, you know, 120 frames per second and above with these ridiculous lenses, you're looking at 10,000 plus dollars. So we're just not there yet. But the, this guy, the C100 Mark II, the, I think my initial impression is that the image was really crisp. My other initial impression is that it's similar functionality to the Canon 5D as far as like the buttons and the menus. I, it did not feel foreign. So if you're a little nervous about jumping up from a, a 5D or a 7D or a, a, a 60D or, you know, whatever Canon you have, this transition to the Mark II C100 is going to be easy, actually. I was, I'm a little intimidated by buttons, too many buttons, but th these buttons were easy to figure out. So that's one initial impression that I had. Another thing is the weight. It was not that heavy, but it, 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 it had some good ergonomics with the handle on top. So as far as like being able to really move with the camera, because the DSLRs like they're great, but you are holding it like a, you know, like a camera, a picture camera. So this has the, the handle on top where the audio attaches and it just was awesome. Uh, the ergonomics of moving around with this camera. So my last impression that really drew me in was the ND filters in the camera. They're built in. So you just move this little knob on the side and the filters literally like pop into place inside the camera. So you don't have to deal with screwing on uh, filters on the outside of your lens. And it's based, what is an ND filter? It's basically sunglasses for your camera. So when it's really bright out, in, or, in order to improve the image quality, you put these ND filters down and it, it allows you to uh, basically have better depth of field, better coloring, all that good stuff. So very impressed, Canon, very good. C100 Mark II, I'm excited. Time to go build a shed. just resting trying to rest it's been a busy day you know starting with early work this morning on a Saturday don't like to work on Saturdays because that's family day but sometimes you got to work on the weekends right um, so I'm just resting chilling we're gonna we're gonna go off to an Oktoberfest here tonight um, I'm gonna leave the camera I just need a little break just to ch you know just chill just chill without the camera I love the camera I love it so much I love filming I'm but it is good it is good to arrive at a location whether it's a party whether it's a festival and know that no 
I cannot use my creative imagination, my creative eye, to get that shot. Because guess what? I'm just going to absorb it into my brain, into my heart, and enjoy that moment, you know? So, that's how it's going to be tonight. But, I do want to make a quick mention to... Tom Bailey over, I believe he's somewhere in the UK, I don't know exactly where Tom. We've just uh, started to connect on Twitter and ba on YouTube and basically he's a fellow vlogger over there and he has gleaned some uh, information, some advice, some hopefully some wisdom on how to keep the daily vlog going, how to keep the motivation up because it's hard. Tom, you know, it's hard to daily vlog. So anyway. Thank you, Tom, for the shout out in your vlog yesterday, I think. So I'm gonna link to that vlog up in the upper right hand corner. Hopefully I remember to do that. If I don't, comment below and let me know. Actually, what's gonna happen, Tom, and everybody else, all you other smaller creators, is I plan to publish maybe once a week, kind of like a how to vlog, how to grow your channel, how to engage with your YouTube family, your YouTube community, because it's um, it's a little bit of an art and a strategy. Like you gotta have both to, you gotta have a game plan, you know, for the long term. So anyway, I digress. That's probably gonna be starting up soon. And we're back, and we're back. October Feast was amazing, but as you know, I gave up beer for 2018. So it kind of takes the edge off a little bit as far as enjoying the campfires, you know, the cool autumn air and a good, you know, a good pint in your hand. So it wasn't quite the same, but I'm glad I got to enjoy some, some good delicious craft water, if you know what I mean. And uh, it was a beautiful event, but True Love and I were handed a little flyer on the way in, basically inviting millennials back to another event. And we're just kind of looking at each other like, huh, are we millennials? And that might have to be a, a, a quick question of the day. Which generation are you part of? And is 1985 qualify as a millennial? I don't really put myself in that category, but who knows, maybe I am. Anyway, it just got me thinking about generations and all that good stuff. All right, folks, the, the shed is, uh, is far from done. Uncle Troy, Kyle, come over anytime to finish, and I would appreciate it. Anytime, anytime. Seek beauty, work hard. And love each other. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I tend to say that at the end of every vlog, but I also am very serious about what I say. So how do I seek beauty? I like to do that through time lapses, meaning capturing the clouds. And so this is my yard. I'm going to show it to you here in a second. And the shed that's being built, prefabricated, however you say that word. But then I basically have a ladder leaning against my house and I climb up and I get the camera down and I get the memory card and I put it in the computer and I edit the time lapse and I hopefully create a little bit of beauty for you. So, going up the going up on the roof to get the camera. Mm -hmm. 